So we're here at uh, Free Scale here at the uh, Computex 2013. Who are you? Uh, my name is Jackson Liu. So what is Freescale showing here? There's lots of things around here. What is going on here? All right, uh, Freescale is a company very focusing on embedded processing. So essentially, embedded processing is the main thing, OK? So today, you're going to see Freescale have different solution for the single ball computation to address versatile market, very flexible. Secondly, Freescale is very dedicated for so-called longevity support. So here you get to see we have the healthcare solution to address uh, the healthcare and medical use uh, with the latest technology. So here is an integral front end kind of medical kit uh, uh, using the latest te technology. The MCU in this case is using the Cortex M4 technology. Very low bus, low power. Is this new? Uh, yes, this is new and actually Freescale has been uh, the first to kind of market with this uh, core technology. So what do you call it? The ki uh, Kinetics? What do you, which is the name of the, the product series? The product here, uh, to be more specific, this one we call it the K5353. Kinetics. Kinetics, yeah. And in this case, uh, we, we have a, a very uh, a full range of product portfolio. And in this demo kit, you get to see an MCU called K53, K53. It is actually a part with on-chip integral front end. Uh, right. uh, on-chip what? Integral front end. What is that? Okay, very good question. That includes a high-performance uh, A to D converter, which will be 16-bit uh, bit uh, lens. In addition, we also have the on-chip OP amplifier. What's going on here? I see, I see IMX6, IMX6, a WAND board, UDO. Uh, this is a kind of like a mini PC development kit for IMX6. How many are shipped so far? Uh, very good question. Uh, so uh, here you see we have a lot of customers demo. So essentially we have the local customers. And here are customers from uh, Europe, some from the America, but mostly the Euro customers. A very, uh, is this? Uh, this is a, uh, a customer module based on uh, our uh, IDAMI 6. Uh, Kunga Tech. Tech. What right. do you do as a, as a, what do you call it, a Q7 module? Uh, right, right, and with HMI uh, capability. Uh, very interesting portion is here and here. Seiko, right. Seiko, one board. Udo. Udo. What is this down here? Oh. Uh, Technician is a company very known for uh, you know uh, the IPC kind of uh, design with uh, very uh, good uh, flexibility. Here you get to see a very new uh, design trend. Here is that it used to be a uh, customer is pushing on a solution for a single module, right? Tiny smaller phone vector. But here you get to see new trend is they try to make a common platform for peripheral make it as complete as possible. Whereas they provide different CPU module to make it more versatile, more flexible, to serve different market at different period of time to rapid market. So you have quad core, dual core, single core? What is yeah, this? Exactly. Yeah, that's essentially for different performance. That's tech next year. Yes. And I -Wave, what, is, what is iWave doing over here? iWave, on the other hand, is an Indian-based uh, uh, design partner. Uh, they started out uh, with a single board module, but their concept is very, very similar like that, right? So all in all, they can quickly to respin different uh, CPU module with different uh, uh, generation, where is keep the same peripheral module. So very flexible, rapid time to market. Which one is selling more right now? Uh, you don't want to say? <laughs> I think uh, I believe they are Take getting Take next getting good market uh, feedback. Yeah. So this is like development, but also full production. It's uh, both comp compatible. Right. Actually, customer can really order that and make it into the end product. So they can make thousands or ten thousand or hundred or million. Yeah. Uh, not a not million. High volume. This kind of uh, configuration is good for low to medium, uh, uh, medium to small volume, but versatile market. Up to thousands, something like that. Yes. yes. For industrial use. Right. Industrial, multi-market, right. Where's Udo? Where's Udo from? 
I never uh, see Udo before. Uh, Udo, uh, I think Udo can be uh, a, a different case, but it's also implement uh, so-called uh, defecto, uh, defecto standard uh, uh, based on the Arduino. Arduino. Arduino, yeah. Arduino stuff going on here. Just Atmel combined with the Freescale and everything's combined yeah. and stuff. Previous set compatible, essentially, you know. Arduino compatibility, okay, cool. And Seiko is pretty big, no? Yeah. Seiko is a big embedded player, UQ7, and they do also some bunch of things here. Should we go over, over here? Let's, uh, let's walk around. Uh, just to see what's going on here. There's, so there's embed. Uh, uh, fantastic, you know. What is embed? Uh, Embed is also a uh, defecto standard to push on the module, the platform. So, sir, what you are holding is a uh, really uh, physical sampling to demonstrate to the world who is the smallest MCU. So, dimension is actually to push to the limit at about two by two millimeter. So two by two millimeter. What do you have in there? ARM Cortex M0 Plus. And two, this tiny chip here is an ARM Cortex M0 Plus. What can you do with it? I can do it. Okay, it's a very good question. Traditionally, if you want a, a chip with low pin count, you probably only get 3x3 three three millimeter. For example, QFM package, right? But the major drawback for QFM 3x3 three three is very limited pin out. Something like a 10, right? 8, 10 at most. But we get to see a demand, for example, for wearable, for very changeable, you know, form factor design, where they require smaller dimension, but require more I.O. So this one can be the solution, right? So two by two, but same time with 20 pins. So reserve more GPIO. You can see the chip. Uh, the chip is... It's tiny, and this is for wearable. So if we <coughs> if we go around here, uh, over here, where where do you have wearable computing? Where? Uh, good example is like a watch, right? So is this using uh, that that Cortex M zero plus? Uh, not yet. Because this one is not really that small, so this one still used our uh, M4 technology. So this is uh, Garmin's uh, 410, right? Essentially, the similar family, but that one has an implement here, but that one is using K20, but still with very small uh, package. So that's a Cortex M4, what is it? This is M4. Cortex M4? Uh, featured in a USB connectivity. And which, is this also Cortex M4 and the uh, Hero? Yes. Hero yes. 3 is Cortex M4? Uh, you probably know this company, right? They are, yeah. right now they are quite hot. They are company, uh, the product, co company called GoPro, Go right? They are doing the uh, outdoor kind of a uh, camera with Wi-Fi connectivity. You combine this with Umbrella uh, for video yes. encoding, right? Exactly. You don't do the video encoding. We don't do, essentially. We, we take care of the Wi-Fi and the traffic control in the, in the, in the system. Uh, this one is, a, if I might say, a IMAX 233 is a ARM 9 or ARM 11? This is, this is a previous ARM version. 9. Yeah. ARM 9. ARM 9. Right. So is it going to be upgraded? What would you recommend if they make a new product now? What should they use? Uh, Which freescale solution? Yes, uh, for new design, uh, we got uh, several recommendations. Uh, number one, it can be a very low power base, which will be you know M4 base. So we offer, we have been supporting. On the other hand, if customer want to have a energy efficiency kind of a chip, maintain to maintain the multimedia capability, they can also go with A5. Cortex A5, A5 right. Which one is your A5? So in our case, uh, 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 right now we are trying to uh, support that with, uh, we have a product family called Vibri. What do you call it? Vibri? Vibri is some, something, a new product including the M4 and the A5, right? Combined, you have different solutions, M4 and M5, but compatible, uh, A5. Yeah, but we also reserve some sort of design bounding option, remove the uh, M4 core, but only keep the A5. But as we are aware, A5 within all the A family is the most uh, energy efficient. Maybe it may not be the most uh, uh, powerful in terms of the MIPS, but definitely it's the most uh, energy efficient. 
So what I want to say is that if you want to make a new design here, you can either go with a single uh, M4 base, M4 or, or uh, M4, yeah, and or A5 with Android. So A5 Android, M4 not Android. Uh, in that case, uh, for M4's case, probably you can go with uh, real time always, but not for Android. Not Android. There's no Android on Cortex M4. Yeah. So Only on the A5. Yeah, at this point, that's correct. Yeah. Because this is IMX 233. There's Android 1.6 or 2.0 maybe, but not uh, Android 4. Yeah. But that could be an A5. Yeah, in the future. How soon are people gonna come with that? I'm uh, waiting. I would like to we, see. We we actually we right now we have the superset development kit based on the M4 and the M5. In our product code name we call it the V uh, Vibria 6 series. So customer can actually start to evaluate our solution based on the M4 and the A5. But over time, very soon they can really remove the M4 function, but only retain the A5. The Pebble is not free scale. Uh, people actually, uh, my understanding, they use our technology more for the sensor. So they don't use uh, M4 or A5 from you? Not uh, yet? Not, 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 not these guys? Not but uh, not can, you, can you promise we will see very soon solution Android watch from Freescale Power? Uh, soon? How soon? I, I believe, but, but it really depends on how you know, our global sales team to talk with the key customer, right? But I believe it's going to happen very soon because the technology is there. You know, where there's, where there's uh, uh, you know, the process, the readiness, I believe it's going to be very soon to, to have the product on shelf. Is Freescale the best for wearable computing? Yeah, we Who's are, competing? Yeah, we are, uh, we are, good, we are good in the low power. Uh, product scalability, so we believe we can very be competitive in the market. We're gonna serve. Yeah. Wearable computing is gonna be big. Uh, maybe there's a free scale in here. Uh, maybe not. But this is e ink, and here, here you have, here you have e ink, and you are how? What what market share does free scale have in e readers today? Uh, we have to ask another guy. Yeah, but, but it's pretty high, no? Yeah, pretty high. Yes. Uh, the Kindle. We start out to have the cooperation with. Uh, with, uh, you know, Paper with Kindle, yeah. Kindle. Paper white is free scale. Yeah. Right, right. I have one, but I forgot how to turn it on. Uh, no, it's right here. This is uh, IMX 508 or 507 or something. F is an e reader optimized, which is awesome. Very low power. Uh, and uh, Android on e ink is happening, right? Uh, that I probably need to check. Check with some other guy. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. And a smart home, you're powering that with IMAX 28. What? Is, why? Why is that? Okay, so you can also consider this a more of an energy gateway. Okay, yeah. more of energy gateway. So in that case, you probably need to have a solution very low pass, same time to have the low power. So when you speak of low power, definitely it's one of our competitive advantage, right? And uh, because right now uh, uh, the the smart grid also call for the so-called Internet of Things kind of synergy, meaning that you need to provide a device that is uh, smart enough. Uh, is this the solution over here? Uh, but you're doing IMAX 53 also in here. So, but you provide solution for a smart home. How many smart homes are there? Free scale powered in the world. It's still emerging thing. Yeah, it's still emerging thing, but this is one of the market uh, we very focus and uh, to continue to invest in those into the sp those space. So including the microprocessor, uh, including the connectivity, whether it's wire or wireless. So we are very dedicated in this space. So what has been going on with Freescale the last few months or last year? There's been some changes, some uh, strategy. I don't know. Can, what can you say something? What is uh, where's Freescale? focus the next future okay last year free scale uh, we went through a new organization change and after that we uh, define redefine the product group into five so including microcontroller unit uh, sensor networking automotive and their IF. so with this change customer can better understand free scales uh, product support and service so to me, I think that's very clear and very good uh, kind of a change. How does that change the whole IMX6 and maybe IMX7 and all that stuff? The high end uh, for tablets, for phones, what is Freescale doing there compared to before? Is it changed there or no? 
to me, I think uh, no, no big change. But, but really, yeah, uh, as an employee, I do see the synergy because uh, our new, uh, within those five grab uh, product group, we have a product group called microcontroller. The new microcontroller group uh, actually including the MCU and the MPU. So from the design standpoint, we can leverage those IP and synergy and design resource together to make it more flexible and, and therefore rapid to time to market. So I believe that is good uh, change for free scale. So rapid time to market and long time on the market. That's exactly. the whole point. Exactly. You, you guarantee 10 years support. What is it? No, oh, five years, 10 years. Uh, this, uh, yes, this is a free scale. Uh, uh, free scale is uh, uh, official program uh, share with customer. That uh, free scale uh, really uh, a couple uh, a few years ago we launched an official program called longevity program. Uh, within that program, we uh, uh, announced that uh, we cannot guarantee a minimum 10 years support after the product is launched for automotive and medical healthcare market. Since these are uh, market uh, more for life critical and address uh, you know uh, life safety. So these two uh, uh, market area, Frisco even guarantee one five, 15 years support of product. Nice. Yeah. So, so 10 and 15. Right. Did you announce IMX 7? Uh, we are trying to redefine the IWM's uh, product. So you will probably uh, uh, see uh, sometime soon we're going to have a new product. Yeah. Nice. Uh, so I can guess, but I don't know. It could be something, could be something else. Could be a big little ARM Cortex A15, A7. It could be something else. We'll see. Yes, yes. We look forward to that. Yeah. Yeah.